EMA 4003 project by Winston Ojeda. In this project, I will be covering Kevlar. Kevlar is a heat resistant and strong synthetic fiber material used commercially as early as the 1970s. Kevlar is typically spun into ropes or in fabric sheets. Kevlar was first invented by an American chemist named Stephanie Quellek in the mid-1960s and formally introduced in 1971. Since the first iteration of Kevlar, there have been a variety of grades by which Kevlar is given and thus used in through perspective industries. Figure 1 is the picture of the inventor. Figure 3 is the uh, source material. The discovery. In the mid-1960s, the DuPont company expected a gas shortage and were in need of a suitable replacement for the composition of tires to make them lighter, stronger. While working for the company, Stephanie Quellek and her team noticed an unusual reaction when dissolving polymers. What was supposed to be a thick, viscous, molasses-like solution became a cloudy and aqueous solution. Shortly thereafter, the team decided to thread the fibers and realize the potential of their discovery. Figure 6 is what you can see from the um, process of synthesizing to being wound into spools. The industry. Kevlar can be found in industries that utilize strong, lightweight, and fire-resistant materials. Industries have, an access, have access to a variety of Kevlar grades. Most commonly is Kevlar K29, which is used for a variety of components such as cables, tires, brake linings, and even asbestos replacement. Other grades, such as Kevlar 149, is used for things such as ballistic armor, formula cars, and aerospace applications. For these purposes, the Kevlar is layered and sealed with resin. The science. The molecular structure of Kevlar consists of ring structures that form chains, also called aramids, which is short for synthetic aromatic polymids. Due to hydrogen bonding, and intermolecular force, the aramid gains a large tensile strength of 3,620 megapascals, which is five times stronger than steel. However, it is due to these special bonds that Kevlar does gain a low compressive strength in comparison to its tensile strength. The weaknesses. As stated before, Kevlar has a low compressive strength. While Kevlar is stronger than steel, it is not a suitable replacement for steel for any industry in which a material is going to be subjected to heavy pressure weights. Due to the spacing between chains, it leaves Kevlar vulnerable to water exposure, which could lead to mold development and long-term water exposure could lead to degradation of the aramid chains. Kevlar is, an, is also expensive to synthesize as it requires constant use of sulfuric acid before being wounded into a usable thread. In conclusion, I've gone over a brief summary on the discovery, industrial usage, and molecular science, and weakness of Kevlar. I will now proceed to show a 3D image of the Kev Kevlar molecular structure. Please do note that this was done in a free 3D animation program called Blender. These are also four references that I was able to cite for this PowerPoint. As you can see, this is the Kevlar 3D animation program. These black spears are representation of carbons, the blue spears are representation of nitrogens, 
these white spears are a representation of the hydrogens and these red spears are a representation of oxygens the two lines here are representations of a double bond same applies for these um, little spines on the uh, rings they also double bonds between the carbon chains as you can see very rough model of the molecular structure of Kevlar that is all I will take any questions now thank you